What's up? This is Mr. Tracks. We're here with Level Up Magazine, where underground is mainstream, right here on Small Talk, where we got Ju Young with us here in LA, California. As you can see, he rostering out with the herb. <laughs> so, we're going to move forward and talk about some ideas about what his next project. Also, you know, the key question we talk about hip hop and today's generation music, how it evolves, and the overall purpose of becoming an artist and making creative content, such as music and other fashion labels as well. So yeah, Drew, uh, you know, tell us a little bit backstory about you and your project and what, what gives you the name, um, where you come, come from, and a little bit backstory about you as an artist. Well, yeah, everybody know I'm Drew Young, Pablo. Uh, mixtapes that's coming up is the mixtape Pablo. Be on the lookout for it. The name came from, you know, I sell tight it out to me. So I just put all original songs together and made made a mixtape to drop for the people. Before I hit on with uh, a new EP, which is called After This. So they getting two, two projects. So that's what I got. Wow, two projects back to back. So, like that project, tell us about the creative process of it. Like, uh, do you listen to the track first, or are you st are you more of a writer? How do you go about the creative process of creating content, the music? Uh, it's always different, different, different. Each song is different. One I might listen to it and I'll have anything to it and come up with a song or. I might sit there and structure something out, or I might, you know, mix it up and just do all of it together. So it's just different times, but majority of the time, I just get the beat, you know, flame one up, and then lay something to it. Really. Okay. Cool. 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 So, are you more of a, a collaborative artist, or do you like, work like on solo projects, dealing with you know, you know, creating singles, mixtapes? Majority of the time, I'm working on myself because I'm constantly in the studio. I'm constantly working and producing music, and I'm pretty much you know pushing that out, and we come with with other artists. I just don't like to be the one, you know, to act like I need someone's name to get on or, or make music. I just enjoy making music at the time, right now, and just having fun, you know, living life. I had Cali smoking weed every day. <laughs> well, what you like about California? What you like about California? You know, since you've been here on your trip, I happen to catch you, you know, doing some, you know, you know, and Hollywood and shit, and, and I saw you in Beverly Hills too. I did see a nigga in Beverly Hills. <laughs> what you doing in Beverly Hills? I'm talking about Beverly Hills. <laughs> nah, we, we just chilling. We just chilling. I'm always chilling, man. Just chilling, smoking weed. That's it. Thinking a new shit to come out with, you know. <laughs> okay. Getting inspired by, you know, seeing new things while, you know, traveling, like, seeing different parts of the world, going from like California to like Miami, New York, you just see different shit, so it's dope. So you originally from Chicago, correct? <coughs> yes yeah, sir, Southside. Okay. Yeah. So explain about that backstory about you coming from Chicago, like what made, what, how Chicago made you as a person, or how it made you as a man, you know? Uh. It really make you grow up quick if you're really out in the streets, you know, because it's real life situations happening where I grew up, you know, being from the south side, you feel me? You always got to be aware of your surroundings, you feel me? And you, you just got to be yourself, you'll be good, shit. <laughs> I think so. Okay, cool. So. Like did did that did the inspiration start there in Chicago as being an artist? Like did you have any influencers? Um, like how did you begin the creative process? Like just hopping in the industry, you know, 
know, take, take us on a journey of your timeline as an artist. I say, well, starting off, of course, Chicago made me. It's because I am from Chicago. You feel me? So that's what I grew up on. That's what I know. That's what I've seen. And that's all I knew for a while. So that's all I can talk about and relate to and understand. But as I grew, I started traveling and living in different towns and different cities and traveling and seeing the world, start seeing more things, you know? And it's like, damn, there's more to where I came from. But it makes me, cause you know, I I found myself in these places, you know, and I still be saying, talking crazy, you know, but that's where I'm from because Chicago, we, we just be talking crazy. We be just like a, about a lot of life, you know? Man, but what's going on in Chicago right now, man? I mean, you know, because it's a lot of stereotypical, you know, things about when people say you're from Chicago it's like you know it's a it's, it's a feeling that they get or stereotype of mindset about you know the people that come from there you know it's kind of you know like tell us about it you know I, we know that it is a lot of you know bad things going on but you know like what are you what are your thoughts on that it's a lot of bad things going on but in the future a lot of th good things uh, uh, happen so I'll just put that out there. Just say it. Chicago is Chicago right now. And I ain't gonna speak any negative on it. Everyone know where it's at, but it'll be positive. So So what do we have expecting it coming from you? What kind of like, what's our make music fix we can get? Do you got a music release coming out once a week? A music I'm video coming out once a month? What what we should we like fucking Ready to see. Man, go go to drewyoung.com. Okay. D R E W Y U N G. Follow me on all my social media Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. I'm on all that. Hit me up and you can stay tracked. It. You can track me down, see where I'm at, what I'm doing, what I'm dropping. All that. You go to drewyoung.com. And you expect everything. Lately, I've been dropping like a damn near new, uh, new single every week. Uh, mixtapes. I'm about to just a lot of music, a lot of projects. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of hard work. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, give us a little bit taste of what we should expect. What kind of music? What kind of familiarity that you know music goers or consumers can expect from your 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 craft? You know what you produce and come out of the lab and you know just distribute to you know the stream of the world so people can hear it all over the world because that's what's so good about the internet age you know like music now can be streamed any fucking where from your phone everything like that so yeah tell us what can we ex you know expect to hear from uh just basically pablo <laughs> me pablo is drew young uh, i'm gonna give you my life What's Pablo? I mean Pablo. You know, like what's, what's the backstory of the name? Like, yeah. Pablo. Pablo. Pablo got a lot of things done. And, uh, well. People related me to Pablo. Okay. That's taking care of shit, getting shit done. Just like the um, the the clothing line you got going on, right? How high? Uh, I mean, fly high, fly high, fly high, fly and high. Fly and high. Okay. So the fly and high. How did that look? Oh man, this is for me. Yeah. Uh, Rasta, respect my yama jaba, jaba man, shaba. <laughs> fly high t-shirts like that, right? You know, like don't. Yeah. don't fly high t-shirts. Gion.com. Fly high t-shirts. That's nice. Go check it out. That's a fly high t-shirt. Juyoung.com backslash F and H apparel. Everybody go get you one. You can get you one discount prices sometimes. So just go on Juyoung.com. Sometimes I tweet out the promo codes. Get like 10% off sometimes, 15, 20. So just follow, man. I'm okay. telling you, a lot, a lot is about to happen, man. They said Pablo took over. <coughs> That sounds good, man. Well, After this. Wow. That sounds good. Well, it was great to, you know, have a small talk about your, you know, where you at in 
distributing your new music and the content? Um, do you have new music coming out? Music music video coming out or like what? Should we be on the standby for next month? Next Grammys. week? What? Grammys drop. Go look up YouTube. You lit. We just dropped that a few weeks ago. Uh, triple double on YouTube, man. Go check out YouTube for all the videos. It's up there. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. <coughs> Mr. Tracks, Level Up Magazine, where underground is mainstream. Don't forget the content, Kush vs. Pills documentary. Check out Kush vs. Pills documentary at levelupmagazine.com. That's levelupmagazine.com. <laughs> Take care, you guys. Peace. I had to do that one. <laughs>